Welcome to a new edition of the Neon Jazz Interview Series with Italian-born, Belgian-based jazz bassist, composer, and producer Giuseppe Malachi. He actually took the lead on this interview and sent it over to Neon Jazz according to questions that we asked him. He opened up about his newest 2019 CD, Endless Way, with the Vogue Trio during the April 2020 quarantine from his base in Brussels. He talked about his career, the current jazz world, and so much more. Hello, Joe. Thank you. Question 1. The Endless Way is a travel diary. In the last two years, the trio performed many concerts around the world. All this experience inspired me a lot, and it also allowed us to get uh, to know each other better. We can have exploited uh, our genre of repertoire compared to the first album. Music, and especially jazz, has no borders. In the album, uh, you can discover all kinds of influences and styles that touch me a lot in my youth and my current life. My music uh, includes uh, classical music, rock, pop, and bossa nova. Question 2. I'm living in an apartment in the center of Brussels, and uh, it's hard to, it's hard for me to, to move around, just like uh, everyone. I make uh, sure not to be discouraged too much. I try to stay active as much as possible by practicing double bass, go jogging and sometimes watching Netflix. As a producer I also spend a lot of time in the studio to mix new productions. Also not to forget one uh, of course of my biggest passion uh, which is cooking. I quite spent a few hours cooking and I really love it. I try to keep myself busy and so that I don't get bored. Question 3 I grew up uh, in the center of the island in a village of uh, 20,000 people. At the age uh, of 12 I had the opportunity to live uh, one year in Belgium to, to learn French at school. And at the, uh, at the end, uh, my family and I decide to stay. I have been living here for about 20 years now. Question 4. They are what the world uh, does best. They revolutionized double bass play in their own generation. What I like, uh, what I like uh, most about them is the way they express themselves through the instrument with ease and uh, at the same time it sounds amazing. Question 5 uh, Yeah, for me um, uh, it was a natural process, let's say. During my first jazz concert I was immediately drove by the double bass uh, and uh, when I first tried this instrument uh, I knew straight away what I wanted to, to do later in my life. Question 6. Uh, if I remember correctly, it was in uh, 2011 when I was a first year master student. I was very lucky to have lessons with him. He played with the biggest musicians such as Joe Anderson, uh, Joe Lovano, Steve Grossman. His experience uh, in his work uh, made me even more passionate and pushed me uh, to bring uh, out the best um, apart from the technical exercises of course. Question 8 uh, I have uh, always been fascinated by production uh, beside that, uh, it is very difficult to find uh, a good label with a good deal today. In 2016, I founded uh, Hypnot Records. Uh, like myself, many other musicians uh, took take the initiative of founding an independent label. I have uh, invested uh, a lot in this project in the last couple of years. Uh, in the last three years, I produce and co-produce 16 albums of both Belgian 
and international artists. Question 10. Uh, in general, uh, I like everything about this job. Uh, can I say job? Uh, maybe uh, the right word is vocation. Uh, I love uh, playing music and I discover other musicians. Uh, music gives you the power to express yourself. Uh, to summarize, uh, the most wonderful thing is that true music we can share emotions with the public. Uh, I'm lucky. I'm lucky to be able to do this every week. Yeah. Question eleven. Ah, good question. Uh, the list of concerts is too long. Uh, if I have to attend only one concert, then I uh, would choose uh, without hesitation uh, the Bill uh, Evans Trio at Village of One Quart. Uh, with the legendary Scott Lafalle and Paul Motion. Question 12. Uh, jazz is not just music, uh, it is also a vocabulary to learn continuously and it evolves over time. It is a language uh, that has the power to bring people all around the world together. Uh, whether you are American, European, young, old, black, or white, it is a vocabulary, sometimes complex, uh, other times completely free, uh, which is great, because we can uh, amuse uh, ourselves with it. Jazz is uh, everywhere today, uh, how not to love? Hmm. Question 13. Uh, I am a very curious uh, and active person. Uh, I like exploring uh, new things. I am uh, someone who likes uh, setting goals uh, and give the maximum each single day uh, without forgetting uh, to enjoy life. Thanks for listening and tuning in to another Neon Jazz interview where we give you a bit of insight into the finest players in Italy, Belgium, Kansas City and spots all over the world giving fans all that jazz. And thanks to Giuseppe for his time, music and willingness to do this interview. If you want to hear more interviews, go to Famous Interviews with Joe Domino in the iTunes Store. Visit Neon Jazz at YouTube.com. And for everything Neon Jazz all the time, go to the neonjazz.blogspot.com. Until next time, enjoy the jazz, my friends. Neon Jazz.